It just seems like almost a month ago I had to blow it up. Or was it even more than that? How's this happening? My sword refuses to do as I wish. It feels heavy. Would you stop wasting my time already? I really, really couldn't care less about all that. You can do anything with passion and hard work. Crap. It just makes me want to vomit. Try to pull that nonsense on me again, and it will just put me in a fouler mood. Great. Here it comes! You dragging this out has gotten me a bit fired up. I'm not even gonna try to release it. Just slipping it out. Um... Kama? Huh? Kama? What happened to you? As if you didn't know, your freaking hubby did this to me. If you don't recall. It looks like her arms and legs are burning. And why is that glowing? You guys really have no idea what I am, huh? Not even a god old Bravati there. A good old Bravati. This is so terrible. It's fun. I bet there are also all sorts of things you still don't have a clue about. Well, here's some food for thought. Where do you think you are right now? Um, in the Oku? But Parvati, not Parvati, Kama did say we're in the inner smoke sanctums of herself, so we're inside her. Huh? The other floors might have been borderline, but this inner chamber is me. You're all literally enveloped by me and my love. Go on, take a look around, see for yourselves what love enveloping you right now truly is. Um, okay? Oh, god. Spatial corruption. Space, the final frontier. Huh? We're in space? Oh no, are you? You can't be! So you finally figured it out, Parvati. That's right, I am Anaga, the foremost one now. How did I end up this way? Why? Because of Shiba incinerated me with his third eye, of course. I know that story. The god Shiva was so deep in meditation that not even Bravati couldn't reach him. The god sent you to get Shiva's attention using your hour of love, but when you did, he flew he flew into a rage and opened his third eye, tearing your body to ash. Dot, dot, dot. Let me tell you what happened. As a result of getting dragged into that little shit show. As you can tell from my expression, it's just hilarious. Shiva's third eye and the unfathomable power it possessed turned me to ash. That power was capable of incinerating, incinerating the universe itself. It didn't just disintegrate my body. It made my very existence into something vague and hazy. Now, here's the question for you. Don't worry, it's real easy one. Let's say there's a void left over from Shiva's incineration, standing right in front of you. What is it, exactly? Now I understand. The more power a divinity, the greater the ramification their actions will have. Since Shiva is meant to incinerate the universe, and he incinerated you, you yourself could now be the universe. Wait, what? Then, on the 
comparer level, you and the universe are now fundamentally linked. I can't even... <laughs> it's just all over my head. True, it doesn't make any sense. Not normally. It would be too much for someone to handle. But that wasn't the case for me. I was no ordinary god of love. Since this is the climax, I'll make it nice and simple. I am a demon king. Um, that's very simple-ish. Thank you. I knew it! You're Mara! I mean, you're still Kama too, but the Demon King Mara side of you is much stronger. What? That does does that mean the divine the divinity known as Kama is also considered to be a separate divinity known as Mara, though they are often conflated. Conflated? It's not a word I don't remember, even remember. <laughs> That's an embodiment of love and lust. Mara is said to be the ultimate evil leading all she encounters to their doom. So, I know it's just... So, I know I just said that I was the Demon King, but I'm still not sure there's any point in dis distinguishing between Kama and Mara. We're both the same thing in the end. It's probably just a case of human thinking of love as evil. I guess I can see their, I can see their point. Love can ugly make people unhappy as just as much making them happy. I always thought that this could be a possibility, and I am sure Sion, Sion and Bash considered that the two divinities were linked too, since it was a famous story. But even if Kama and Mara are the same being, Mara shouldn't be able to come out that easily. So how is she here now? However, she accomplished. We are left with the fact of her presence here and now. We have to best accept it. Indeed, I can sense it myself. That is the Demon King of the Six Heaven Papralius. Take Jizen. I'll just call it Take Jizen. Take Jizen for short because I'm gonna have a way harder time pronouncing that. Dakajizen, a demon king of love who had gained the power of the universe. Gained? I guess you could say that, but I'm not sure it's entirely accurate. This is the innermost space inside the Toka Oku. It's now especially my own self-contained universe. Do you get it? You're all inside me, even as we speak. Ooh, we're all insider. Ooh, but then again, a lot of people say we're insider. Yay! <laughs> Got that. So I won't count on being able to use your bodies like normal if I were you. Huh? So heavy. As I said, this is my own universe, my own personal world. I could, I could end all your lives in an instant even if I wanted, and you wouldn't be able to do anything about it, and you, do you think you can fight me? Please. Or what? Are you really gonna take on the universe itself? Don't bother. You can't possibly win. So just give up and enjoy my love. Let my love carry you into the depths of depravity. Like jobs here. I say I rarely taken back when the lights were, were out, but it's simply beautiful in here. I guess you would call this a drinking under the stars. Ah, this is paradise. Gardov, snap the hell out of you. We're in dire trouble right now. Although I say there. Mm. Although, I say, you there, Renus Leith, was it? Prospecting yourself in respect is all well and good, but I think you may be overdoing it. You look as though you are trying to dig a hole in your head, not with your head. 
You need to be a tad kinder to yourself when praying your respects. Understood. Um. Otherwise, you put me right off my good mood. Ha 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 ha! Ugh! Nomatsuna, would you mind getting him out of here? So we don't even have to listen to him anymore? As you wish, my lady. My, what a rare experience this is! More ways than one. Between how heavy heavy my body feels and how different difficult it is to breathe, it is truly does feel as though we're setting foot in another world. But there's still one thing I don't understand. No matter how you look at it, this is all too much. Even if you are Mara the Demon King, you shouldn't be able to wield anywhere near this much of the universe power. You must still be hiding one more trick. Oh, I see what's going on. I didn't pay any attention before, but giving the pathetic how pathetic your spirit origin is, but now I take a closer look. Kira, isn't it? Well, since you brought it up, I guess I better come clean. True, my being Mara is not any more than I pre premise. The whole reason I'm here right now is because of another level of power I awakened. And there's and the reason I awakened that is because the scales tripped. Uh, tipped? Trip? Tipped. Okay, the scales tipped. What do you mean? See? That's what I am talking about. Your body already knows what's going on, but your brain can't tell or won't keep up. That willfully idiocy of yours is what I hate the most about you, Pravati. You and I are the two sides of the same avatar. You must have sense when I was born into the rift that lies between us. Ain't that why you came to stop me now? That I am one of the evil the evils of humanity because it is your responsibility as the god closest to me. You mean like Gothica and Tamat? If the weight causing a skill to tip towards is the right side is removed, then of course it's going to dip back down the left. I mean, it's only natural, right? I guess, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Now that I have invited you into my own universe and changed into this form, I can finally, I finally understand. You are a fragment of the right vessel, aren't you, Kirara? Yes, I might have been involved in something along those lines before. Though, I expect you and I are the only ones here who can fully appreciate what that entails. So, now that you know what I am, or was, let me ask you again. Why go after Master? A fair beast with a Master? What a joke! That's basically my reason right there. When you are still an immature R, it was Renis Leet herself who stopped you from maturing. So if, as an immature organism opposed to you, I managed to surpass Renus Leet, that would mean I evolved further than you ever could. That is how I will become complete. Oh, hi. I am one of the seven evils of humanity. Beast 3, the beast of pleasure. I'm the one who will cause humans everywhere to lapse into the barbarity. So get it through your thick skulls. You're all in throne of my love. Love obese. 3 slash L large. <laughs> So she became a beast, so I wonder if she still retains the assassin class rate or completely different now. 
Okay, we're fighting a beast now. Hmm. Do I still want to use Anastasia for this? Hmm. I would say yes, but she's like a... I could just use... Um, what's her name? Uh, Pravati, just to be more fitting for this fight, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna use Pravati. Okay, let us get... Where is a perfect... You have attack up. Which I don't really need right now, so let's change that. Come on, buff, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. let's see. Oh yeah, you're perfect doing this. Okay, now let's switch out to good old Parvati. And switch you out for Waver. And yeah, that kind of is fine. So you can gain charge by 5% every turn. Okay. Let us do this. A hey beast? You're one of the beasts of disaster that threatens to end all mankind? Oh, I didn't know about ending them all. I just do what I want and let the chips fall where they may. I loathe humans more than anything, so I will keep giving them love until they lapse into the ver depravity. I am the Demon King of Love, and I am linked to all the universe. There's no limit to what I can do. The universe in no, the universe is infinite, and so is love. Apparently, R called herself a Ophius of Pleasure and the bottom of self-love, and tried to gather all of the world's love into herself. But her selfish desires. Her goal and her body all grew so ludicrously big that she ended up at the mercy of servants. Then, to top it all off, she ended up falling apart under her own dead weight. She ended up being more funny than scary, it turns out. But I am not selfish like that. If anything, I am the polar opposite. All I want to do is to fill all mankind, all the universe, with my love. It may it sound awfully nice, but you have to forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical at the moment. Because if you're the same kind of being as Gothica, and he was a disaster for all of mankind, I doubt if it was as simple as that. Yes, that would be bad. Very, very bad. If the, if the God of Love were to spread her love to all things until everyone everywhere was completely satisfied, that would be the end of love altogether. When living things are given infinite love, they become complete in and of themselves, and no longer need anything from anyone else. And that means there could never be any new love for me, I mean others coming into this world. But the recipients of my infinite love will get to jo enjoy themselves forever and ever. Not in my book. I'm sure we can enjoy it forever and ever, but the thing is, having something over and over again, it will get dull real easily. Then again, she could just brainwash us to have the pleasure forever, but still, I don't want that. I can satisfy any desire they have. I can rid them of any disappointments they have. I can spoil them utterly rotten, no matter how hopeless they may end up. And if 
And if that... Mm. And if I do this for all mankind, does it mean I've saved them? Sure, you say that you saved them, but not in a good way. No! No! That can't be right. That isn't real, love. <sighs> Fine. Call it the priority if you want. The name really isn't important. A goody two shoes like you could never understand what is so great about a world like this. The perfect love should never betray you, never disappoint you, never let you grow bored, never die on you. But you wouldn't know that isn't normal, because that's the kind of love you've been promised since you were born. Now come to me, Ren Sleet. I know you're not even close to curse. You've just been desperately trying to fight it all this time, haven't you? I can't stand to look at you, and you're so garbage. I can't help but laugh. But I still love you. I still make sure you're all filled up. Uh, I don't know like this. I feel danger incoming. You're the Tokugawa now. You have no choice but to indulge in this pit of depravity. This oko is filled to the brim with my love. Forever. Go on. You'll feel much better once you give in. Just accept it. And this will all be over. The Never. So you truly are vermin. Endangering master and the Tokyo family alike. I must cut you down, even if it is, should cost my life. We cannot let her have master. There must be a way, something we can do. Master, hang on to me as much as you need. I don't even care if you have to throw me throw up on me. Just don't give in. Whatever you do, you can't forget who you really are. Oh wow, that's just cruel. Sparta ain't much, are we? Just put her out of her misery and let her give in. It's okay, Renesleet. Don't worry about a thing. Just give yourself over to me and Lapis into the parity. This is a cold, lonely, endless world. An infinite universe without being be beginning or end. Here. I'll show you what real love and desire are, just like I did for the one who trained under the Bohai bo tree. You don't have to do anything hard, you just have to search for the meaningless right answer. I can provide infinite depravity for everyone, I can provide eternal satisfaction for all. It is okay, trust me, the fires of my love are more than strong enough to heat this entire universe. Not on my watch. すべての人に無限の堕落をすべての人に永遠の満足をそして宇宙は私の愛で満たされる Nice. Get all those nice stars in the first turn. Even though I don't have any quick for Pravati, so I'm gonna wait for one. Should I wanna wait for one more turn? Mmm. Should I wanna wait? Yeah, I'm gonna wait one for one more turn. I can do, I just can get more crit stars on the next turn anyway. But first thing first, I'm gonna defend. In the charge. So I just put them down. Okay. Now, let us just waste one turn. <laughs> Even though I have all these scratch stars ready to be used. Okay, 
Okay. Still no quick cards for Arvati. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go one more turn. Better yet, I'm gonna get the waiver to get the Try to build off his MP. And of course we do the seal when I want to do it this turn. Of course, I have the mm. and I can't use my skills because I'm skill stunned. Bitch. ちょっと不安ですけど。この暗いので。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
And Master Rank leveled up, and I got a Saint Quartz to boot. Whoop! 